Hi everyone, it's Alia or Cake Legend, and in today's video, we're going to be making these delicious cranberry white chocolate shortbread cookies. It's a super easy recipe, I promise you, and you should be able to make about 30 to 40 cookies. We're gonna start with measuring our white chocolate chips. Um, place your bowl on your scale and measure about 75 grams. Don't do too much like I did. And then we're gonna measure out our cranberries. We're gonna do 85 grams of these. After everything has been scaled, we're going to chop it all up. So I started with the white chocolate and then did the cranberries after because the cranberries are stickier and tend to stick to the knife. You also want to chop it up into fairly small pieces because these cookies are also pretty small. Now we're going to set those two ingredients aside, grab a large mixing bowl and place it on our scale. We're going to start with measuring our butter. You want 227 grams of softened unsalted butter and then our sugar, 80 grams of icing sugar. And then we're gonna whip that all up until it's pale and fluffy. I'm using an electric hand mixer, however, if you're making a double batch, I would definitely use a stand mixer. When your butter and sugar mixture looks something like this, we're going to put it back on the scale and measure out our dry ingredients. You're gonna want 228 grams of all-purpose flour and then five grams of salt. And whenever I scale something really small like salt or baking powder or baking soda, I always like to do it in a separate container because if I accidentally do too much in the big bowl, it's gonna be much harder to take it out. Now we're going to mix this again until the dry ingredients are fully incorporated. Uh, this only took me about a minute. You really don't want to over mix this. You'll notice that I stopped mixing as soon as I can see the dough coming together because we're also going to continue to mix it a couple more times once we add the cranberries and white chocolate. Here's the dough after about a minute of mixing with the electric hand mixer. Now we're going to dump in our cranberries and white chocolate that we prepared earlier and just use a spatula to fold that into the mixture. And once your dough is finished, we're going to portion it out with an ice cream scoop or you can use a scale if that's preferred. And we're gonna roll them into balls, place them on our baking sheet and then bake them. The scoop that I'm using to portion my dough is fairly small. It's the kind of scoop that you would use to portion cake batter into mini cupcakes. If you decide to use a scale to portion your dough instead, you want each ball to be about 16 grams. And as you can see here, when I place them down on the pan, I leave a couple inches of space in between each one, and I also flatten down the ball just slightly. And once all your dough has been rolled into balls and squished down on the pan, we're gonna bake them at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 to 16 minutes, or just until the tops and edges are a very light golden brown. I always let my cookies cool on the pan for about eight to 10 minutes before transferring them to a wire rack. And then that's it, they're all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you try out this recipe and love it as much as I do. These cookies are actually one of my favorites to eat. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.